Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a Valentine's Day decor tour. Also, I have some spring things that I've put out and also some kind of new decor to me. This year, I really wanted to focus on changing up my decor and kind of just changing things out because I feel like I've had the same things forever. So yeah, so this is gonna be that. And also, if you're interested in kind of like a semi-small warmer, wax warmer, tour i'm going to just show you where my wax warmers are like while we're in the the kitchen and the living room i don't know if that'll help anybody or not but also i have some ray dunn here <laughs> i've become obsessed with ray dunn in the last when did it start probably around uh, probably around september october because i started collecting right when halloween stuff was coming out well actually i Never really saw any Halloween stuff at my local store, so I had to go to the depths of hell, known as Macari, <laughs> to find some ridiculously priced things. So, the first thing we have here, I'll just back up a little bit. This is the kitchen here, right in the corner. I have these two mugs, and they're with the red inside. I really like the ones with the color inside. So they have hearts on both. I don't think they say anything on the back. And then the two scoop canister, I it's more like summer, but I just thought it was cute for Valentine's Day on the cake stand. And then I think the tea, what does that say? Whatever the little heart thing is, I thought that was cute for Valentine's Day as well. So I just decided to put it on there with that. So let's just zoom around. And down here I have two more mugs that say love and mine and the other mug says be on the other side be mine and then the owl is from it's either target or kohl's no kohl's it was from kohl's like whew, probably five years ago it's been a long time so what i do is i use the ray dunn you know those planter things that they have with the the planter cups inside and then it comes in the holder I just put my mugs and like a little decoration in the holder. I figure that's the best way. So I'm gonna zoom around here. And let's see, let's move us, whoops. So I have an XO, XO right behind the sink. I need to get a different stand. The stand I have is pretty tall and it's just not really working for me on that, but whatever. <laughs> so that's that. Let's zoom around here. More Ray Dunn. I have a hold and contain. Also, there is my first warmer here in the kitchen. I just put it, I have three. So I have one here and then let's zoom around. I have one back there. Also, you can see I have You Are My Sunshine. I wanted to put, during Halloween and Christmas, I had, or no, was it just Christmas? I had a big sign that I loved right there. I was just like, it kind of, I don't know, you can kind of cover up the wall sockets, although this one, the You Are My Sunshine, kind of is a little bit shorter, it's not as tall. So, oh, most of the stuff that I'm gonna show you also, I forgot to mention that, is from Kirkland's. So I don't wanna keep repeating Kirkland's, but you're gonna hear it a lot. So <laughs> that's from Kirkland's. And then if you just come around here, the towel, the tea towel is the eucalyptus from The Grove. And then I just have another matching canister here that says T and it has a little heart on top, which I thought was super cute. And then over here, here, let's just move. This is my third warmer. So I kind of keep them in all three directions of the kitchen so that way I get like the best scent. The kitchen was really hard for a long time. I would have like one warmer in here. I tried one warmer and it just wasn't working. I have another Ray Den plate that says love and then this I'm using as my, the blue teapot, I'm using as a utensil holder. Um, I probably could have fixed the utensils in there, they don't look the neatest. But I got that from Kirkland's as well. So let's go ahead, that's all, pretty much all the Valentine's. I don't go all out for Valentine's by the way, I just kind of put some little things here and there. Let's go into the eating kitchen. So I just turned the light off because I wanted you guys to see the little tea, well, I'm going to say a little a lot. I'm gonna try not to say little everything. So the houses came from Target during Christmas time. They were from the dollar spot and I have tiny little tea lights that go in here and they just flicker like a really nice yellow color. I 
probably could find some better ones, but I just picked up some cheapo ones, but I wanted to show you guys. I really like that. I decided to keep them out year round instead of just out at Christmas because they're white. So, you know, they can go with anything. Also, shout out to my friend Ramona. I'll link her channel down below. She sent me this, it's like a rose gold slash copper. She sent me two baskets. I was so surprised yesterday. I got a box and I was like, I don't, I don't think I'm expecting a box. I mean, I am, but not for like until next week. <laughs> so I looked outside and I'm like, what the hell is this box? And I saw who it was from and I was like, what is she sending me? And then I look and I'm like, oh my gosh. So these baskets are perfect. Like I love them. You can use them for so many things, but right now I've just got my wax in them. I told her as soon as I opened the box, my wax went right in. So I have two of those bad boys, which I can find multiple uses for, but right now I just put my my wax because it tends to get scattered around and whatnot. And then I just have my Amazing Grace perfume and my Caldrea countertop spray. So thank you, Ramona, if you're watching. And I'm gonna link her channel down below. She does wax videos and I think Bath and Body Works. And I think she does some cooking things too, which I still need to watch because I need cooking ideas really bad. So let's move around to the kitchen. I mean the eat-in dining room. Okay, so also from Kirkland's is this eat sign. I thought this was super cute. I, yeah, I was looking for something to put on this wall. I did have a baker's rack there initially, and honestly, I was just sick of the baker's rack. It was dusty all the time. Like I was always having to dust it. It held dishes in it. What I did is I just accidentally, not accidentally, I ended up moving the dishes like that I was using for like Thanksgiving and Christmas. I put them in our regular dishes. Like now we just use them every day. I was like, this is stupid. I'm like, these dishes just sit here and it looks dumb. So I got rid of the baker's rack and then I gave myself empty space, empty wall. Don't have to worry about dusting it. It's easier to mop in here, everything. So I replaced it with that eat sign, which I really love. It's kind of got, you can, it's not showing on camera, but it's actually quite large. Let's see, just hold this up. It's like a tin. Let's see, let's just move up a little bit. It's like a tin material. You can kind of see that. So that came from Kirkland's. Okay, so also from Kirkland's, I got these tea, or not tea light. I got these candle holders in blue. I've been kind of wanting to put specks of turquoise or blue in my house. I love the color blue. So I've just been putting like little spots of it here and there. And then over here, my husband was really sweet and saw this. At Kirkland's and he's like you know what I'm gonna get that for you so I just think that's cute it does light up it just says love I just thought it was really sweet nice little surprise that he did so yeah that is also from Kirkland's and I, I don't know if I said the candle holders were from Kirkland's as well as well as the rounded candles the sphere candles okay I think that's everything in here let's go to the living room so also for my Ray Dunn people, I have some mugs up here. I try not to collect too many mugs, but I did need, because I'm obsessed with Harry Potter, I needed the Magical Potions and Bewitched, I think I have, and they are colored inside, so like the Magical is purple inside. And then I actually found some of the large letter mugs in my Marshalls, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna grab a couple. So I grabbed Patience and Create, and then I think I have one more back there. Oh, Hustle for my daughter but uh, she's not hustling at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so and then down here I just have Fiesta Wear and then some of my Starbucks mugs, which I love, and yeah, so that's just it there. Like I said, I love Harry Potter, so I needed the, well, they're mostly the ha Halloween mugs, but I was like, I'm gonna use them all year round, I don't care, so yep, there we go. So here is Tinkerbell and she is like, why in the hell are you up so early? You are interrupting my sleep. I'm trying to shut my eyes here, but I keep hearing noises and you fiddling around. Can you please stop? <laughs> so there's that. Okay, so this is the living room area and I'll just kind of scroll you around here. And then I'll show you up top on the mantle here. And we'll move in on that. So actually, let's go ahead and let's move up on that now. So this is my mantle area. I forgot to turn on my lights. Okay, so the first thing is the love banner, which came from Kirkland's. The other reason also too I wanted to get this video up is because I'm noticing that things are starting to go on sale. 
and things are starting to sell out. So if you're interested in any of these Valentine's Day decorations, you can get them before they're gone. Or if you still want to decorate for Valentine's, it's not even February yet. I think tomorrow is February 1st, so you still have time. Okay, and then over here, these lanterns are from Kirkland's. I wanted to put something else different on here. We had vases before, but I was just kind of sick of them, so we did the lantern. The, du the candle does light up. The two little birds are from Target. I'm sure you guys have all seen those. They come out with themed ones, it seems like, for each holiday season. And then this I've had from Target forever. I just put fairy lights in them because I think they look pretty. But during the holidays, I will get the scatter, like for Christmas. I got like a Christmas type scatter to put on the bottom of there and it looks really pretty. I have a second one, I just don't have it out. And then the heart came from, I think the Target dollar spot, it just lights up and I just think it's like a cute heart to put up and it lights up, so that's nice. And then another bird from Target. And then another lantern with a LED candle in there. So they're pretty tall. I do like them. And then here is not Valentine's Day related, but I did like this pillow from, again, Kirkland's. Here we go again. <laughs> I love the truck with the flowers in the back. I just thought it added a nice little touch of spring. So I was like, whatever. So let's just scroll around here. That's where we keep our blankets and the cat. <laughs> so here I have two pillows. One that says, love you forever. And then the hearts with the, here, let me zoom in a little bit. The hearts that are kind of hanging on a clothesline. So there is that. Those came from Kirkland's as well. Also, one thing too is I always get a code from Kirkland's before I buy anything. There's always, almost always a percentage off code for like one item or your entire order. So I always try to go for the ones for the entire order because usually if I'm purchasing, I'm doing like multiple things. Okay, and if you follow some of my regular videos, you'll recognize this background. This is what I use as my background for my YouTube videos. So the Valentine's Day cookie jar was from Kohl's. It came out at this as the same time as the little owl that is in my kitchen. And then I have another one of the hearts from the dollar spot at Target. And the sign with the red truck is from Kirkland's. XOXO is from Kirkland's. It's glittery and sparkly. And then the bird, of course, is from Target. So I thought I'd just zoom in a little bit so you could see the sparkle on the XOXO. And then a little bit closer of the truck. I just think the sign is super cute with the balloons coming out the back. And yeah, I just, I love it. Okay, so sorry about all the cords here, but I did want to show you guys this really quick. So this still has kind of the packaging on it because I wasn't sure if I loved it or not. But this is a... I guess it's a cherry blossom tree. It's from Kirkland's. I saw it online and I saw the reviews for it and people that had used it in their house. I was just like, that is so cute. Like what a nice little light them up at nighttime. So I went ahead and got that, but I'm not sure if I love it or not. I'll kind of back away so you can see it from like a farther vantage point, but it's sitting on top of our TV speaker. So there's another warmer as well. And then also I have my second warmer. I need two warmers. See that back there. Sorry about all the cords. I need to do something about that. Those are driving me nuts. But I just keep these two warmers. I did have both of them sitting on here, but I don't know. I needed space for something before the tree got there, actually. I needed space for something right there, and so I ended up moving the warmer behind the TV. It doesn't seem to affect the throw in here at all, so I could always move it in front of the TV. It doesn't, I don't think it would matter, but let me back up and show you the tree. So if you turn the lights down a little bit and you were just kind of sitting back here on the couch and you had the tree, I still need to kind of spread the, it's kind of like a Christmas tree. You got to spread the leaves out a little bit. The, the tree is bendable, so you can move the branches out any way you want. I still kind of need to spread that out a little bit, but here it is kind of just sitting. I don't know. I'm, that's one thing about home decor is I have no problem taking something back and sitting with it for like a week or two. Keep your receipt. Most places take things back within like two to three months. So, you know, if you're not sure about a piece or a decor item, just sit with it for a while and see how you feel about it. Kind of look at it in different lights and different perspectives and stuff and see what you think. I've taken many pillows back, <laughs> pictures. I've had like canvas art that I wasn't really sure about. So there we go. 
So this last part is the entryway and I just recently got this picture from Kirkland's. I really loved the, pic the picture. It's not, it's hanging on command hooks so that's why it's not straight and it's kind of like away from the wall because it's not nailed in because I wasn't sure about it yet. I wanted to kind of just sit with it for a while and see. So <clears throat> my biggest concern was it against this black bench. I had posted somewhere in one of my Facebook groups and asked people and, and a lot of people were like, can you paint the bench? <laughs> So that's the main problem with it that I'm having. I don't know. Anyways, I got these two white pillows just to kind of, I don't know, I just like them. I'm not an interior decorator by any means. I just try things that I think will work and I don't know. So these two pillows came, the pink one came from Kirkland's again, and the two white pillows also came from Kirkland's. I think this love pillow came from Pier 1 last year. It was just on clearance and I happened to pick it up. Was it from Pier 1 or was it? Might have been Kohl's. I can't remember now. Anyways, I got it on clearance. It was like a last minute item. I bought it after Valentine's Day. So there is that. And then over here on my mailing center, I have two tiny canvas art pieces from Kirkland's. It just says love. And then the one on the back is just kind of some pink and red. I guess it's kind of painted hearts or I don't know. They weren't very expensive. The owl came from Kohl's again from like five or six years ago. And then I just love this fake succulent from Kirkland's as well. I got that just to kind of spruce things up. I wanted, I've been looking at their, they have like the flower shop on their online site and I guess in their store as well. But I saw that and I was just like, you know, that's cute there. I always need something here because usually it's pretty bare. And probably one of my favorite things that I picked up this year is from Kirkland's. And this canvas art just spoke to me when I saw it. It's for Valentine's Day, but I'm going to keep it up all year just because I love it that much. This is what you see when you're headed to the hallway into the bathroom and the daughter's room. And to the left is the office slash wax room, which I will have a wax tour soon. But this picture, just the pink and the gray, like I love the contrast of the pink against the, uh, the gray. But for Valentine's Day, they have it the like the mason jars that the flowers or plants are sitting in pink and I just love it I don't know just one of my favorite pieces I think I'll love that for a really long time so I always try to get things that I think will last a little while you know I don't like to pick up things that I think in like two or three years are gonna be crappy <laughs> I don't know it's hard to figure that out though so anyways all right that is it you guys that is my Valentine's Day slash some spring items that I've picked up for decor. I have some other pieces and other parts of the house, but I just wanted to keep it to like where the Valentine's stuff was. So if you guys have any comments about some of the things I picked up, or if you think like the canvas art picture I have over here in the entryway is not working, I'd love to know like what you think. And yeah, I just always enjoy hearing what you guys think. And if you have any questions, let me know and I'll link Ramona's channel below. You should go check her out. She's a really sweet lady. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.